الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله the Prophet of mankind, the peace of our hearts and mind, the most generous and kind sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said, the one who recites the rules once upon me, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showers ten mercies upon that person. Subhanallah. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Marhaba, khusham deed, welcome to one and all to another exciting and beautiful episode of our lovely series, An Array of Dawn. Alhamdulillah, today again we have uh, our honorable and respected uh, guest with us, uh, Hazrat Allama Maulana Mufti Abdul Nabi Hamidi Sahib. Mufti Sahib, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Wa Alaikum Assalam wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. MashaAllah. Mufti Sahib, how are you? How is your health? How are you feeling? Alhamdulillah, ala kulli hal. Alhamdulillah, MashaAllah. Today again we will be having the opportunity of taking uh, some Madani pearls and Madani pool from uh, Qibla Mufti Sahib. So today's topic is the excellence of forgiveness, the excellence of making tawbah, the excellence of seeking repentance from the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many of us uh, commit sins, many of us uh, uh, commit sins openly, many of us commit sins while we are hiding and away from people and sometimes we think that uh, you know how should we make tawbah should we make tawbah will our tawbah be accepted and the answers to all of these questions inshallah will be answered in today's silsila so please remain with madhini channel inshallah today you'll learn a lot about il medin but before we come to our topic let us take a short break here to listen to a beautiful kalam in the praise of nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam and inshallah as soon as we return we will carry on our lovely topic. Sallu ala al-habib, sallallahu ala muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam. Allah, 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 Allah,
Subhanallah is a book of guidance and uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned many incidents 
of the previous uh, السلام, and the nations uh, the punishments which came to the previous nations likewise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned many ayat that if we ponder and we think about them properly then we will see how much guidance we are gaining amongst all the different incidents which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Holy Quran one incident is about the nation of Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam subhanallah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about all the different nations how we destroy them how we destroy them but regarding the nation of Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions something unique about them and what is that inshallah we'll just learn about the, the incident and then we'll see what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about them it is mentioned that the nation of Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam used to live in Nainawa. Nainawa was the name of the place. And they used to commit shirk and they were disbelievers. So Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam told them that uh, stop committing shirk and worship only one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no partners, there is no son, there is no daughter, there is no family. He is alone. He is the, the only one who is worthy of worship. So his nation refused. And they did not listen to him. So with the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam informed them that, you know, I preached to you all. I told you all what is the, the haqq and the truth and you all are still denying it and not accepting it. So you must now wait. The punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to descend upon you all now. Allahu Akbar. When the nation heard this, they discussed with each other. And they said that Yunus alayhi salam does not speak lies. So if he is saying that the punishment is going to descend, then the punishment will descend. So let's see, tonight if he stays in the city, then it means the punishment will not descend because the punishment cannot come when the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is among us. But if he leaves the town during the night, then we should now become afraid and know that the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to soon afflict us. So when night fell, Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam, left that place and uh, the people saw that Yunus alayhi salam left and in the morning that the signs of punishment started appearing. What happened was a dark and a terrifying cloud appeared in the sky and smoke covered the entire area and when people saw this they knew that now the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to uh, be afflicted upon us. So they started looking for Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam that if we can find him, you know, we should go and uh, repent and ask for forgiveness. But Yunus alayhi salam had already left the city. So what they did was they went in the jungles with the women, with the children and with the animals. They started making tawbah and they repented of their sins. And they started saying that, Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are now Muslims. So the women separated, the wives separated from their husbands and the children separated from the mothers and all of them humbly begged in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we have now repented of our sins and we have embraced the religion of your Prophet Sayyidina Yunus alayhi salam. And this is how they sincerely made dua and tawbah in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they asked for forgiveness that Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and because they were so sincere with their dua Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala answered the du'as and granted them salvation from his azab and from his punishment. Subhanallah. So in the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the punishment of the different nations, how they were destroyed. But when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the nation of Hazrat Yunus alayhi salam, then he discusses and he speaks about how they repented and how they made tawbah in his court. Subhanallah. So these were disbelievers, people who committed shirk and Punishment was about to be afflicted upon them, but they went sincerely in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they made firm intentions that, Ya Allah, we have repented and we are not going to commit these sins in the future. And this is indeed a lesson for each and every person, each and every Muslim and definitely for all our viewers that, you know, the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is very great. So whenever you commit a sin, go in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask for forgiveness from the bottom of your heart. And inshallah, you are going to find Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most forgiving, the most merciful, subhanallah. And for more detail on this topic, inshallah, we will now um, go to our Qibla Mufti Abdul Nabi Hamidi Sahib. I first have a few questions with regards to the same uh, discussion. And inshallah, from them, Mufti Sahib can take the discussion. 
uh, we are speaking about making tawbah which is how we see that some people uh, after committing a sin or something wrong they'll just slap their cheeks and say toba 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 or sometimes we see some people committing sins in front of a group of people or in front of the public and uh, what they, when they make toba they'll do it in their hearts or in their rooms quietly so if Mutisab can just elaborate on this, is this correct, is it not correct? At the same time, can Mutisab please tell us the, the conditions, the sharait of making tawbah and seeking forgiveness from the God of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? First of all, we need to understand what is tawbah. Jih. Tawbah means ruju. Jih. Subhanallah. Returning from Jih. one position to another position. Jih. In the case of human being, when he makes Tawbah, it means that he has turned from sin Ji. towards piety. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Tawbah can be of different types. Ji. Tawbah from Kufr. Ji. Tawbah from major sins, from mm -hmm. minor sins. Mm -hmm. Tawbah by words, mm -hmm. uh, by the intention of the heart, or by changing the action mm -hmm. from bad to good. Mm -hmm. so all these are different types of Tawbah. Tawbah. Subhanallah. So, the condition of tongue is not necessary. That okay. it must be with tongue only so by Allah. saying certain words. Okay. Toba can be done in different ways. Okay. And uh, the kind of sin is committed. Okay. That's the kind of Toba should be made. Subhanallah, subhanallah. If alaniya that's uh, open, Ji. it got exposed, Ji. Ji. people became aware of it, Ji. then the toba must also be the same. Subhanallah. Means, alaniya Ji. In, front of everyone. in front of everyone in public. Ji. And uh, if it's a hidden sin, that people did not become aware of it, then Tawbah should be hidden. Ji. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. And uh, if Tawbah is from Hukukullah, Ji. then only being ashamed in the heart Ji. is enough. That's uh, the Tawbah. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. The person has violated the haqq of Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. He must feel bad in his heart. Ji. For example, if he was shaving beard, so his Tawbah is that he feels hard, he feels bad in the heart. Subhan and he stops that action. Ji. Stops shaving. Ji. And uh, if Tawbah is from Hukuk of Shariat, Ji. then Qaza uh, or Qisas or Kafara expiation mm -hmm. is necessary. For example, if someone uh, left many Salahs or one Salah, Ji. then his Tawbah is to make Qaza of that. Ji. Ji. Subhanallah. You know, somebody broke kasab, so he must give kafara. Ji. So just verbal toba hmm. would not be enough yeah. in this case. Ji. So that when it comes to hukuk of shariat, he Ji. has to be kafara or do kaza. Kafara or do kaza. Ji. And uh, when it comes to hukuk al ibad, then the tawbah is that person must seek forgiveness Ji. from the rightful person. 
saying i make toba would not be enough ji in so, these cases so different type of situations ji there will be different types of toba toba subhanallah subhanallah and there are conditions of toba ji i think we'll discuss if you got something to okay. say you can say okay. and then you can inshallah so that. so just saying toba and slapping your cheeks is this enough mufti <laughs> sahab no of course not ji, that's ji. why we gave this explanation ji 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 that uh, but if a person uh, feels remorse yeah. and he fulfills the requirement of sharia yeah. and then he did that uh, 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 shouldn't be a problem with that yeah. because yeah. this is something cultural you yeah. know, in certain cultures people express yeah. uh, you know their remorse in that way yeah. but just for everything you know tawba yeah. tawba tawba Uh, that's not good enough mm-hmm. you have to see whether it is haqqullah whether it is you know haququl ibad mm-hmm. whether, whether it is haq of sharia mm-hmm. so what kind of haq is being violated mm-hmm. and according to that the tawbah should be done. subhanallah subhanallah um very beautifully explained by uh, qibla mufti sahab that there are different types of tawbah I'm sure many of us heard this first times in our lives. We always thought that, you know, we must salah, we hurt some, we broke somebody's heart, uh, we shaved our beard, whatever it is, we just make toba and um, that's all. There is no qaza, there is no kafara, there is no asking for forgiveness. No, there is a difference regarding haqqullah. You have to feel remorse in the heart and have that nadamat, that shame, and then ask for forgiveness. Hukukul uh, ibad, you you backbited about somebody, you. you you know you broke his heart you saw at him you fight you fought with him you carry tales and all these kind of funny actions which we do and it indeed breaks the next person's heart for that you have to go and ask him for forgiveness he needs to forgive you if there is some settlement to be made then clear that out as well allahu akbar likewise if the matter is with hukuk sharia like salah and fasting and qasam then there you have to pay your kafara you have to do your qaza uh it's it's not possible that you have missed the salahs of your of 20 years of your life and one day you just go on the musalla and you ask for forgiveness ya allah forgive me and uh, you think that everything is done no you need to perform those qazas as well so at the same time i would like to request one and all that we all know in our lives how many salahs we have missed make intentions that inshallah azawajal we will cover up and make up for all those salahs which we have must remember there is no forgiveness in salah there is no maafi if you can't perform uh, salah while standing the sharia says you must perform while sitting you can't while sitting then while laying down and even there if you can't uh, move your body then in some situations you can perform salah with ishara and with indications as well so in any case there is no um, excuse or there is no leave for salah and salah is is performed five times a day it is farz upon every muslim so i don't see a reason why we should leave the salah if anyone has missed the salahs in the past make an intention that inshallah from today from now in fact we are not going to miss any salah and uh, in future inshallah we are going to perform all our salahs if we have the ability and tawfiq to go to the masjid and perform it with jamaat with takbir ulah then we will inshallah and whatever salahs we have missed in the past we are going to uh, make qaza at the same time we are going to ask for forgiveness uh, for those salahs which we have missed subhanallah and the holy quran alhamdulillah also uh, praises the people who who seek repentance and the people who make tawbah in the court of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in surah maida ayat number 39 Allah Ta'ala says Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Faman taaba min ba'di dhulmihi wa aslaha fa inna Allah yatubu alayhi then whoso repents after his injustice and amends 
then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will turn to him with his mercy. Inna Allah ghafur rahim Undoubtedly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is forgiving and merciful. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Likewise, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu, tubu ila Allahi tawbatan nasuha. That, O oh believers, O oh you who believe, turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in such a way that it may become an admonition for the future. Subhanallah. And uh, we will inshallah explain this verse uh, in this episode that what is Tawbat al Nasuha, what is meant by Tawbat al Nasuha. But inshallah, before we go to that, let us go back to our uh, Muftisab. And Muftisab has some conditions and some sharait for forgiveness and for seeking repentance in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ji Muftisab. Sufiya Ikram said that uh, Tawbah has some arkan, yeah. pillars, yeah. Uh, some conditions and uh, some particular times of certain toba. Uh, pillars are two. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. There are two pillars of toba that one should feel ashamed Ji. of what he or she has done in the past, Ji. any if any wrong is done, any sin is done, Ji, Ji. then uh, feeling remorse and feeling ashamed, Ji. that's the one pillar. And the second pillar is that to make promise to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to repeat that sin in the future. Subhanallah, subhanallah. So you, you must know that pillars uh, uh, upon which the building stands. Ji, ji, ji. So the, the pillars of the Tawbah, upon Sohan. which the Tawbah stands, ji. if these two. pillars are missing, then there is wow. no Tawbah. Ji, ji. So that you are earlier question, you know, just slapping ji. on the cheek and ji, ji, ji. thinking that's Tawbah. That's not Tawbah. Two, two pillars. Ji. One is to feel ashamed. Ji what he or she has done in uh, reference of sin ji, ji, ji. and then making a promise then in future to not I will not do sin. that again. Ji. Subhanallah. And there are two conditions of Tawbah. Number one, when person is making Tawbah, he must be free from showing off Allahu Akbar. from Riyah. Ji, ji. So, he must be sincere. Ji, subhanallah. And this is very important to take note of, especially when in gatherings, ji, ji. people are making dua and uh, tawba is being made ji. collectively. Uh, keep focusing on the heart. Ji. If I am showing off or not. Mm. And uh, the second condition is that person must be in between the fear of Allah and hope from Subhanallah, him. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So these are two conditions. Ji, Subhanallah. Uh, free from riya, free from showing off. Ji. And have fear and hope. Subhanallah. These Subhanallah. are the conditions. Subhanallah. And as far as the, the times are concerned, uh, the Tawbah from Kufr should be before Gargara of Mouth. Gargara of Mouth is that when person sees the angels of death, Ji. Ji. they're there to take his life. Ji. So after seeing angels, then if a disbeliever wants to make Tawbah, Ji. his Tawbah is not accepted. Uh, but if person is a believer and is a sinful, mm. then his toba can be accepted before death. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So that's that's the toba. Subhanallah. Uh, for the so there's a there's a difference between the toba of the disbeliever and, this, yeah, and, and the believer. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. And there are some mustahabbat. Allahu Akbar. You know, mustahab recommended Jeet. acts Jeet. of Tawbah. Number one is 
that person should cry. Allah, Allah, Allah. Shed some tears. Subhanallah. This is Mustahab. Ji. Tear of the sinner Ji. extinguishes Ji. the fire of the wrath of Allah. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Now, those who have the opportunity to cry in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, this means that they are loved by Allah. Subhanallah, subhanallah. So people say, you know, men don't cry. Ji, ji, ji. In fact, the real men do ji. cry. Subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. I mean, who can be stronger? Ji. Then as Sayyidina Umar Farooq radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Subhanallah, subhanallah. And uh, he used to cry a lot. Allah, Allah. One day, a qari of Quran read an ayat. Ji. You know, Inna azab rabbika lawaqi'i ma'alahu min dafi'i. Ji. So, he was just about to sit on the back of the horse, actually he just sat. Ji. And he started crying with the fear of Allah. Allah, Allah. And he fell unconscious. Allah. So these are real men. Ji. Ji. So this is a Western uh, thinking that men don't cry. Ji. Ji. But uh, in Islamic culture, the real men, the strong men, they do cry subhanallah, subhanallah. for the fear of Allah. Subhanallah, so much, subhanallah, because subhanallah. that's the right thing to do. Subhanallah. And, uh, and there are many great people that when it came to make Tawbah, they uh, exercised Tawbah doing something Ji. which uh, identified that they are remorseful. Allahu Akbar. And uh, they regret what they have done. Ji. Like, for example, Hazrat Abu Lubaba, Ji. radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he exposed one of the secrets and then he realized uh, this wasn't right what he did. Mm -hmm. So he tied himself up with a pillar in Masjid al Nabawi. Allahu Akbar. And he said, uh, I will remain tied up Ji. till Rasulullah Sallallahu forgives me and he opens me. Allah, Allah, Allah. So his tawbah was accepted Ji. and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam opened him. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So because of that action, Ji. there is a pillar called uh, Istiwana Abu Lubaba. Allah, Subhanallah. It's still Subhanallah. you will find in Masjid al Nabawi. Ji that to symbolize that this is the place where he tied himself he tied himself up subhanallah, subhanallah. and the second very important mustahab of tawbah is that the four parts must be active in tawbah okay eyes must be active in subhanallah, crying subhanallah subhanallah the heart must be filled with the fear Allah, of Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, and the uh, person's intellect Ji. must feel the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and must feel that he can punish Allah if one does not stop committing sins or one does oh, not okay. repent. Ji. And the, the tongue must be busy doing istighfar. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Seeking subhanallah. forgiveness Ji. from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah. And also one should give some charity at the time of tawbah. Subhanallah. Sadqa, khairat. Ji. Hazrat Kaab ibn Malik radiallahu ta'ala anhu, when somebody came and informed him that your tawbah is accepted, he gave a set of clothes to that person. 
Subhanallah. So he gave that sadqa, he gave that set of clothes in charity. It is mentioned in Bostan, that's a book uh, written by Sheikh Saadi. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. That a king became very sick and uh, all the doctors, Hakims, they gave up. And he went to a fakir and he said, please uh, make dua for me. Subhanallah. This is how people normally do. Jee, jee. Try all the doctors. Hmm. When the doctors say, sorry, can't do anything. Jee. Then they think of dua. Jee. Whereas dua should be the first. The first. So he did the same, you know. Then he came to a pious person and uh, he said, please make dua. So this pious person told him, you have so many bad du'as of oppressed people Allahu Akbar. against you. Jee. So my du'a, one person's du'a will not help you. Allah, Allah, Allah. So you need to first uh, seek forgiveness from them, those who are in the prisons, you know, unfairly. Jee you need to release them Jee. and uh, then I will make dua for you. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Maybe it will work. Jee. Jee. So he then went and you know released everyone, asked them forgiveness. Jee. And then this pious person made dua for him and he got cured. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Now ulama ikram say that you know you run to the pious people, Jee. you run to your pious peer of Urshid. Jee. Please, Hazrat, make dua for me. Jee. Now, you have caused harm to too many people. Allah, Allah, Allah. You have violated the haqq of too many people. Allah, Allah. You have consumed people's wealth and you're not returning. Jee. So, they all are giving bad dua to you. Allah, Allah. So now imagine there are a hundred people who are giving bad dua. Allah, Allah. And you go to one person hmm. and tell him, please make dua. Allah. So he said that one dua will not work for you. Ji, ji. So dua of pious people also works for those people who are free from this type of violations. Subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. So you need to be free ji. You know, from those sins. And, ji violating the haqq of the people, hurting people, Ji. then dua can work. Subhanallah. It's, a, it's a very important lesson. A lot of times we think, you know, I'm making dua, other people are making dua, and nothing happens, you know, nothing works for me. Subhanallah. But maybe you should think, you know, Ji. am I hurting people? Allah. Am I violating the rights of the people? Allah. Did I settle matters with them? Did I ask forgiveness from them? Allah. Uh, so he must clear himself from those things. Ji. And then his dua and the dua of pious people subhanallah, subhanallah. will work for that person. Subhanallah, subhanallah, subhanallah. Indeed, uh, some points which uh, really melt the heart and softens the heart. Uh, and Tisab has left each one of us with a question mark that uh, you know sometimes we ask for forgiveness and uh, we might even be crying in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but the question is uh, we still violated the rights of many people and we have hurt many people so first go towards those people ask them for forgiveness yes every person knows whom he has hurt I don't know whom you have wronged you don't know who I have wronged but I know for myself which people I have wronged and what have I done to which person so I know who to go to what to say to him, how to ask for forgiveness. So that's the method that first go towards those people, all those whose rights you have violated, ask them for forgiveness and then go and cry in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And indeed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most forgiving. Subhanallah. A time ago we mentioned an ayat of Tawbat al-Nasuha and um, regarding Tawbat al-Nasuha, the word Nasuh actually means to be pure. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is free from 
any type of impurity. And when the second Khalifa of Islam, Amir al-Mu'mineen Sayyidina Umar bin Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu was asked about true repentance, then he radiallahu ta'ala anhu said, it means that a person repents of his bad deed in such a way that he never commits this sin again. Subhanallah. And Hazrat Sayyidina Mu'az bin Jabal anhu humbly asked, Ya Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, what is Tawbat al-Nasuha? And Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it means that a person feels ashamed of the sin he has committed. He then seeks forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then never returns to the sin such as milk does not return to its udder. And Hazrat Sayyidina Ibn Mas'ud radiallahu ta'ala anhu has said, by making Tawbat al nasuha all the sins are forgiven. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. So we make dua that whenever we ask in the court of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability and the tawfiq to make Tawbat al nasuha I mean, uh, we are discussing this beautiful topic and inshallah we will carry on. But before that, let's take a short break for some madani flowers, madani pearls. And as soon as we return, we will carry on. Sallu alal Habib, sallallahu ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sallu alal Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Dear viewers of Madani Channel, today, inshallah, azzawajal, we will learn about the few nights in which supplications, the duas, are not rejected. The merciful Prophet of Allah Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Wasallam has stated, there are five such nights in which duas are not rejected. The first is the first night of Rajabul Murajab. The second is the 15th night of Shaban. The third is the night of Friday. The fourth is the night of Eid al-Fitr. And fifth is the night of Eid al-Azha. My respected viewers of Madani Channel, continue to supplicate towards Allah Azza for all of your lawful needs and desires, especially in these five nights, and to continue to learn about such important items relevant to our deen, continue to watch the English Madani channel. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Sallu ala al-Habib, sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Subhanallah. Fisab, um, just for our viewers, Alhamdulillah, we are discussing the topic of Tawbah and repentance. Uh, if Mujisab can just tell us the main benefit of seeking forgiveness. Yes, there are many benefits of Tawbah, but the main benefit, if Mujisab can mention. It's mentioned in Hadith Mubarika. Attaibu min al-dhambika man la dhambala. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah. The one who repents from sin, Ji. he is as if he has not committed a yes. sin. Subhanallah, subhanallah. The person who makes toba is like born subhanallah. from the womb of his mother. Womb of his mother. Subhanallah, like subhanallah. a newborn baby. Subhanallah. So a newborn baby has no sins. Ji, ji. So this becomes uh, the condition. And, and sometimes person becomes Wali of Allah, Allah, friend Allah, of Allah, Subhanallah, Subhanallah, by making toba, Subhanallah, as that uh, incident is very famous of Peer Changi, Ji. Uh, which Mawlana Rum Rahmatullah Taala mentioned. Subhanallah, Chang is a an instrument of music. Ji. Peer means old, old man who used to play some musical instrument Subhanallah. and playing musical instruments is haram ji, ji. so he was known as a sinner Allah. a fasik mu'alim ji, ji. when he became very old ji. and nobody wanted to now listen to his chung ji. So one day he went to Kabristan, he was hungry, he can't earn money anymore, he was tired of his life. Allah, Allah. So sitting next to the Qabr, a Qabr, and saying, Oh Allah, now nobody wants to listen to my chunk. Now you must listen to my chunk. Allah, Allah. Uh, I'm hungry, nobody takes care of me. So with that hunger, he fell unconscious. Allah. And on the other side, 
द मैसेज वॉज गिवन टू सईद ना उमर फारूक रजी अल्लाह ताई फ्रेंड लाइंग इन दब्रिस्तान गो गिव हिम सेवन हंड्रेड दिरहम्स एंड फाइंड आउट अबाउट इज वेल बींग फारूक रजी अल्लाह तो नो बडी एक्सेप्ट दैट पीर चंगी दैट ओल्ड मैन यूज टू प्ले चंग and he was known as a fasik muallim he was doing something that was not permitted in islam well as said no umar farooq radhiyallahu ta'ala no sat close to him and he sneezed and with the sneeze of hazrat umar radhiyallahu ta'ala no old man got up and he got scared and he wanted to run away he thought maybe hazrat umar radhiyallahu ta'ala no came to punish him ji ji and he held his hand and he said no don't run anyway there is a gift for you subhanallah so that was toba actually allah he repented in the court of allah subhanahu from his wrong doings subhanallah subhanallah and that toba made him a friend of allah, allah. that khalifatul rasul allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was told subhanallah subhanallah go there is my friend there and subhanallah qabristan look after him allah subhanallah subhanallah so toba has great benefit subhanallah subhanallah uh, indeed a very 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 great benefit and uh, the conclusion is that we should not lose hope in the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yes our sins are more than the stars in the sky and more than the foam of the ocean but not more than the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Uh, we make dua uh, may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enable us to to make sincere tauba in the court of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all our sins and we have made the intention that inshallah from today we are from now we are going to perform our five times salah whatever good intentions everyone can make make those intentions we are not going to hurt the the hearts of another muslim brother we're not going to violate anyone's rights we're not going to um do anything wrong inshallah we're not going to do bad nigahi of our eyes of we're not going to listen to bad things speak bad things inshallah and the moment you start rectifying yourselves automatically everything will start changing in urdu they say jab nazare badal gaye to nazare badal gaye in english we say charity begins at home in order to rectify everyone around you you first need to rectify yourself and the moment you rectify yourself inshallah everyone will start becoming comfortable around you and this is our madri maqsad that i must strive to reform myself and the people of the entire world subhanallah this brings us to the end of our silsila inshallah we will meet you all tomorrow again same time same place but what a new exciting different topic till then remain happy be happy remember instill the love of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam in your heart and the hearts of your beloved ones because indeed this love is the base of your iman and the base of everything subhanallah we hope to see you soon stay positive be positive think positive till then assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh sallu ala alhabib sallallahu ta'ala ala muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the path of knowledge is the way to jannah the path of knowledge is the way to jannah the path of knowledge the path of knowledge